What's up with YouTube? This is TK with Cuts by Kelly. In this video, I'm just going to talk about how I transferred from New Orleans to Augusta or from Louisiana to Georgia. And what's that process like when you're doing trying to transfer your barber's license from state to state? I'm going to try to get as much content as I can inside this video, which I'm trying to limit to five minutes. So make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Also, leave a comment if I don't answer a question that you may have. And I'll try my best to get back to you with that question. So let's get into it. <laughs> First, you want to call the state that you're going to, call that barber board. See what their requirements are, what are they asking for. Second, you want to make sure you have that. You're going to call your barber board, see if you have it. Talk to the school that you at or that you went to, see if you have all those requirements. And then third, provide that for the new state. That's it. Yeah, really, that's pretty much it, but that's just going into a little more detail with what you need. That first step, they're gonna let you know how many hours that you need. Um, well, for example, from Louisiana to Georgia, it's 1,500 hours in Louisiana that you need to become eligible to go take the test to be a barber. In Georgia, it's 1,500 hours, so it's the same. So by me getting my license in Louisiana, it's easier for me to transfer it to Georgia because the requirements are similar. But at one point, in Florida, it was 1,200 hours. I don't know if it's still the same. So from if I was coming from Florida and going to Georgia or Louisiana, I'd be lacking 300 hours. And sometimes the barber board wants you to provide those 300 hours. So they will send you to school to do it. Sometimes they won't. It's case by case. Maybe they just tell you, look, just do this practical exam. Show me what you can do and you're good. Maybe they waive it. I don't know. Like I said, it's case by case. That's why you need to call the state that you're going to. Call that barber board and make sure that you... Well, make sure that you understand what you need. Okay, two, once I figured out what I needed, I had to check off my list. They wanted my license. They wanted proof that my license was good, was good so I needed Louisiana's barber board to contact them, to email them or mail them that I am in good standards with that state. And good standards, mainly, my dues are up to date and we're all good. So that's something I needed to provide. Another thing I needed to provide was my high school diploma or GED. So make sure you have that. Another thing I needed was um, to prove that I'm not a convicted felon. If I was a convicted felon, then I needed to provide that information, a probation officer, or whatever the case is. They want to know why what was the cause or whatever the case is but I'm not one so if you are that's something you want to keep in mind if you're trying to transfer from state to state they're going to want to know your history so hopefully everything works out for you when you're trying to transfer because I hope you know I would like you to accomplish the, the dreams that you have for yourself in this barber industry so with that you would need to provide those things Another thing I needed, besides those, just my identification, um, proving I am who I am, and that was mainly the things I needed to provide for Georgia. Like I said, my hours were the same, 1,500 and 1,500. I was in good standing with Louisiana, so it just transfers over to Georgia. I have my license proving that I am who I am. I also have my diploma to prove that I graduated from high school at the minimum okay thirdly you're going to turn that in and just wait the process out um if my advice is if you're moving around the holiday time 
you want to do that before you even move. But if you can't, then I understand. For me, I submitted my application like a week before Christmas. Here it is, mid-January. I haven't heard anything yet. I know everything was in good standing, so I'm actually just waiting for them to shoot me out my license. Yeah. So right now it's just a waiting process, and that's what they let they inform they inform you on the website um, that it can be a process. We're in COVID-19 right now, so I don't know if that process is longer. Like I said, I dealt with Christmas holiday, I dealt with New Year, so. I know those days they were off and you know how it is. Christmas parties, New Year's parties, nobody doing work. I mean, at least when I was working, I'm not about to do nothing the day before <laughs> the holiday. We about to have a potluck and everything else. So some people say here in Georgia, they email that to you. In Louisiana, they mailed everything. You had your picture on the license, but out here it's a little bit different. So. That's all I'm waiting for right now, but when I do get mine, I'll update you on it and let you know if I had any kinks in the road or bumps in the road, but I, I think everything should be good for me. So, if I did not answer something that you have a question about, make sure you leave that in the comment. This is TK with Cuts by Kelly. I am trying to help you on everything barbering that I go through and some things I might not go through, but I'm trying to stick with the things that I go through because I'll be able to give you some knowledge and some insight on those things. So I hope you like this content. I hope you like my haircuts and my videos. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check out my haircut videos and make sure you hit that notification bell. This is TK with Cuts by Kelly and I appreciate you.